Hey Shelby Bells, it's Shelby. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in for another video. In today's video, you guys, we have to talk about Dirty Dom and somebody named Alex Troy, which I'll be honest, I do not know who that is. And um, apparently Dirty Dom has gotten himself into some drama again. He is wanted by the LAPD for um, trying to recreate David Dobrik's infamous Tesla jumping stunt or whatever. And it gets messy, you guys. If you want to hear more about that drama, make sure that you keep on watching. Miss? What happened, Miss? Mr. Kitty, you said you saw that Dirty Dom was in the drama because he did what now? You said, Miss Kitty, you said that he decided to try and recreate David Dobrik's Tesla incident. Okay, and when he did that, he ended up damaging someone's car and like totaling it. Mr. Kitty, you're kidding me. Are you joking? That is insane. He did, he totaled somebody's car, some random civilian's car, because he was trying to recreate one of David Dobrik's stupid stunts. Oh, well, I think it's absolutely outrageous too, Mr. Kitty. I really do. I can't believe it. I really can't. And so you're now you're saying the LAPD is looking for him? The LAPD is looking for Dirty Dom and there's a thousand dollar reward. A thousand dollars? Okay, well, you know what? That's a lot. I'm going to fill them in. Thank you for letting me know the tea. Mr. Kitty did a great job today. You're doing better. And Miss Kitty, we love you so. Okay. Well, okay. So you heard it there first, you guys. So I have a lot to say about this. First, I'm going to roll you the clips. Roll it. Oh, shit. <laughs> Dude, those gummies got me f***ed up, bro. <laughs> you guys, I just woke up. I don't even know what happened last night. I was so fucked up off these guys right here. Oh my god. We made it on the news. A dangerous social media prank on the steepest city street in the nation. This is a dangerous stunt they did. It's, uh, it should have never been done. I don't know what they were thinking about. Uh, they could have got somebody killed. Take a look at this. Los Angeles Central Division with their police department say, we have received over 50 tips and anticipate more due to the story going viral. Over 90% of the tips are of the same person who has a TikTok handle of Dominguez or Durtem. That's on Twitter. He is considered a person of interest based on the public postings on his account. So Dirty Dom is literally in TikToks admitting to committing this crime of, first of all, why would you want to do this? What, what prompts somebody to want to jump a Tesla over something else? Like why, why would you want to jump anything, a car over anything? This is not Fast and the Furious. This is not anything like that. So what is prompting? The, that's what I'm saying. These vlog squad people, these guys, I just really can't stand them. I'm so sorry if that is like offensive to anybody. I just can't stand them. I can't get behind it. They think they have no consequences for their actions. And this is literally proof that Dirty Dom thinks nothing bad can happen to him because literally he did this crime totaling some random person's car who's not an influencer, not a celebrity, probably works very, very hard for their money and doesn't can't afford to get another car and just totals their car because he's out there being stupid and trying to have fun. And then he brags about it on TikTok when the police are looking for him. It makes zero sense to me, you guys. And this story just gets even weirder because then you have this guy that was with him. Excuse me, I need to, I need to get some a little hydration here. So this, what I'm drinking today is H-E-B. If you're from Texas, you'll know all about H-E-B. It's our grocery, one of our major grocery stores here. It's the best grocery store ever. And I'm drinking their um, unsweetened sparkling water, like lemon flavored. This is like, I drink a lot of this stuff. It has literally nothing in it except for like 
lemon like lemon juice <laughs> and uh sparkling water so um it's good for you and i love like bubbles and stuff so i love sparkling water i love topo chico i love pellegrino i love all that club soda because i like the bubbles right and it's just an extra way for me to get some hydration in um and have it just be a little more fun and like you know you know zingy as opposed to like regular still water so anyway that's what i'm drinking this morning Mm, so refreshing. That's actually the first drink of anything I've had all day. Um, but yeah, so I don't know you guys like it's, it just it's getting even more confusing because he's going online. He's saying all this stuff. He's admitting to committing this crime, you know, and then um, but kind of apparently he's kind of downplaying the severity of the damage to the vehicle because the guy who whose car was damaged came forward. So my name's Jordan Hook. And uh, I was awakened last night by a pretty loud crash. You might know me as the owner of the blue Subaru that the Tesla jumped into last night uh, when they did car pranks on my street here in Echo Park. Got woken up about 12.30 to a big crash after they plowed through some trash cans and glanced off one of my neighbor's cars. Uh, they came down here and hit my car pretty bad. And um, despite what they say online, the back isn't messed up, but they jacked up my front tires and uh, my steering column's all messed up. My suspension's all blown, so the car's done. Um, so if you guys think it's not cool that YouTubers go to your street and jump their Teslas and wreck into people's cars in the middle of the night, um, I'd appreciate anything you have so that uh, I can get back up and running again. Thank you so much. Made a video, put it out there, started to go find me and put the truth out there, showed the car and everything. Well, the car, or the video that the guy made was taken off of YouTube and the guy is blaming somebody that was with Dirty Dom during the incident named Alex Troy. Alex Troy was apparently filming this whole thing and apparently the guy involved whose car was damaged is blaming the video being taken off the internet on Alex Troy. And then it gets even weirder because Alex Troy is now going online and saying, Dom, Dirty Dom did not jump the Tesla. I don't know why he's saying he did. He didn't. I was there the whole time and he didn't do this. Well, Alex Choi, why would Dirty Dom say he did something illegal like that and the police are now looking for him if he didn't really do it? It doesn't make any sense to me. And I think that the reason that maybe Dirty Dom did that because he thinks it's cool. He thinks he has no repercussions for his actions. He thinks he can do whatever he wants. You guys remember, if you know Dirty Dom, like the name, or if you haven't ever heard the name before, remember, Dirty Dom, the reason, well, he's part of the vlog squad or was or is or something, but also um, he is the one who allegedly essayed the girl on that infamous night when Jeff Wittick was there and David Dobrik was there and they provided the underage girls allegedly with alcohol and then the girl ended up getting essayed. Remember that huge, huge scandal that came out last year. It happened a couple, like longer ago than that, but the but the drama really started coming out last year. Trisha Paytas got involved and started talking about it on Frenemies and it was a big deal. So Dirty Dom was the one that allegedly did actually commit the act of SAing the girl, the underage girl. That's allegedly my conspiracy theory because I know there's so much like legal stuff going on with that, okay? So D Dirty Tom has a pattern of behavior and a history of not taking things seriously, not thinking and thinking he has no repercussions for his actions. And that is a common theme amongst these vlog squad members. Okay. And expect David Dobrik. He thinks he has no repercussions for his actions. And some might argue that that is true with David Dobrik because he literally is out here almost blinding people, almost causing people to lose their lives. He's hitting women on camera. You know, he's causing all his friends to do all these dangerous things while they're intoxicated, all this stuff, but he never has any repercussions for it. And it's just, I, I, I can't understand it, you guys. I really can't wrap my head around the way these young men think. I really, really can't. And it just baffles me because I'm like, one day these guys are going to do something and it's going to get them in a lot of trouble and they're going to end up behind bars because here's the thing like you can only do so much without karma or without like having repercussions for your actions and so i do strongly believe that something will happen to these people eventually and i don't know it's just a shame because it's like grow up already like how old is david dobrik i don't even know how old is dirty dom 
they're both well old enough to know the difference okay it's just insane to me and then I, I actually I compare David Dobrik and his like invincibility or the, what he thinks is invincible kind of the way to, that James Charles acts I kind of compare the two but in different ways James Charles just can't he he's doing gross nasty stuff and then D David Dobrik is injuring people and harming people and I also doing nasty dirty stuff because he the thing with the girl and the essay and stuff and then dirty dog it's just it's just I don't understand these people like did were they born this way were they born as narcissistic so sociopathic great awful people or did YouTube and fame make them this way and how come YouTube and fame is making certain turning certain people into such bad people and then other people, it's not, right? Or are the other people just hiding it better? Is everyone who has like leveled up to the level of like super crazy internet notoriety from YouTube and being an influencer, are all of them really, really crappy people at heart and then some people just hide it better? Or are some people good? What happened to make Mr. Beast such a great guy and he has and like so much youtube fame but david dobrik and you know dirty dom and all these other people trisha paytas why are they such crappy people and were they always those crappy people and now they just like have the money and the power to like get away with stuff that they wouldn't have otherwise been able to or did the internet do that to them i don't know it's just really kind of crazy to think about, right? I don't know. Um, anyway, you guys, let me know what you think about this whole situation with Dirty Dom, Alex Choi, and this poor unfortunate guy whose car got totaled because of Dirty Dom's stupid stunt. Do you think Dirty Dom will face repercussions for his actions? Do you think that he'll spend time behind bars? Do you think that he'll just get fined for it? There's a thousand dollar reward. He's wanted. There's a thousand dollar reward for his for his like somebody giving them a tip or something about him. So. What do you guys think is going to happen with that? Um, I would love to hear your comments in the comment section down below about that. So let me know. Aside from that, it's going to be it for today's video, you guys. If you did enjoy it, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel down below. Don't forget to ring the bell so you're notified of all my future videos when they do post. Remember, all Shelby Bells ring the bell. And yeah, guys, if you enjoyed today's video, YouTube should be suggesting a couple more down here for you to choose from. So I'd love it if you did that. And I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.